It has been a week since I've unboxed the HTC Butterfly 3. So during the review period, a lot of you folks have been asking me questions about the phone. So in this video, I'm going to answer all your questions regarding about the HTC Butterfly 3 based on the comments that I've received both on our Facebook page and on our YouTube comments. My name is Warren for KL Gadget TV. Let's begin. The first and most frequently asked question would be how am I able to buy the Butterfly 3 at such an affordable price? So guys, it's actually pretty straightforward. So this phone is not directly from Japan, but in fact, it is purchased from Taobao, China. So, you know, you gotta head on to sea.taobao.com to search for the HTC Butterfly 3 and there will be a couple of sellers selling the phone. And you might actually notice that they do not ship directly to Malaysia, but you will have to find a Taobao agent in Malaysia to purchase this phone and to send it over here. So in my case, I actually chose 65 Taiko because they are one of the best um, Taobao agents right here that I've been using their service for quite some time. And they do really deliver their promise and deliver it on time. So I'm actually quite confident with their service and I chose their specialized service because this is a very expensive product and they do really take care of it very well. So before shipping to Malaysia, they did actually take a photo of the phone to verify with me if this is the product itself. You know, so if let's say this is a fake product, they could actually return to the seller and say that this is not a genuine product to avoid me being caught. Second question, have I ever worried that I would purchase a counterfeit HTC Butterfly 3? Of course guys, everyone would be worried if they purchase a smartphone from Taobao because you know, in China, anything is possible. So how do I know that this phone is not a counterfeit product? So first of all, if you visit the link in the description down below, that is the page where I purchased my HTC Butterfly 3 from. So the seller has been very honest, like, you know, he actually tells us that this is actually from Japan and even show us pictures of the phone itself, screenshots, and even mentioned that he has modified the software with his own custom firmware to not look like a Japanese software. So it's actually a pretty safe buy, I would say. So, you know, you just got to trust the seller and sometimes you got to take a little bit of risk to find out if you are purchasing an original product. But you know, I took the risk and it worked. This is an original HTC Butterfly 3. Question number three, does the phone play well with Malaysian telcos? Of course guys, the HTC Butterfly 3 is a fully unlocked device and will support all GSM bands, UMTS bands, except for LT. That would be a little bit of an issue here, but only for just one telco. And unfortunately, the telco is U Mobile. Well, according to Wikipedia, Malaysia's telcos uses Band 3 and Band 7. So unfortunately, U Mobile only uses Band 7, which this phone only supports Band 3. So if you are using Maxis, DG or Cellcom, you will be able to enjoy LTE services on the HTC Butterfly 3 from Japan. Question number four. How do I resolve the GPS issue on the Butterfly 3? Alright, so first of all, I have to admit that this is a rather frustrating issue because when I first fired up any GPS apps, I could not search for a signal until I found out in online forums that people have been complaining that this is an issue with the Japan variant of the Butterfly 3. So I went online and researched and finally I found out a patch for this issue. Thanks to the guys at bbs.gfan.com, you Chinese guys are really, really awesome. All right, so the link to the file is down below. It's an IMG file. So all you need to do is to fast boot flash it. If you do not know how to do it, there's actually an instruction, a text file instruction in the zip file that I've attached with it. So you just follow the instructions, just fast boot flash the IMG file into the phone. And the next moment you will know is that the GPS icon will start flashing when you open up GPS apps such as Waze and Google Maps. Last but not the least, are there any software issues with the phone itself? Well, I flashed the official Taiwan RU software. So this software is pretty much an Asian software already and I have not encountered any software issues as of today. However, there's just one issue with the Butterfly 3 itself, which is hardware related. The phone unfortunately uses the first revision of the Snapdragon 810 processor, which is famous for overheating. And yes, guys, I have already experienced overheating issues on this phone. It happens in a couple of scenarios. For instance, if I'm using the phone's GPS under direct sunlight while charging the phone, the red LED light will start blinking and after a few moments, the phone will reboot itself to actually clear off some memory or otherwise release some heat from it. Another case would be playing games. So I've actually played Aspel 8 on it and after three rounds of races or so, the red LED light will start blinking as well and after that, the phone will restart by itself. Last but not the least, I was not able to perform any benchmarks on the phone itself due to these overheating issues because 
For instance, if I am performing a benchmark in N22, like for about 15 to 16 seconds, well, the red LED light will start blinking and it shuts off by itself. Fortunately, the phone does not explode. So that's it for this video and I hope that I've answered all your questions and inquiries about the HTC Butterfly 3. But if you have more questions, do leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. So stay tuned to the HTC Butterfly 3 review coming up on KL Gadget TV. Subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Google+, Instagram and Twitter. My name is Warren and I will see you in the next video.